Hey everyone, this is Jake up in the France 44 event space lounge. Uh, we're doing another cocktail video today. We're going to be doing a Black Manhattan. Um, our spirit of the month for November is rye, so we're going to be doing some, some cool rye cocktails. Keep an eye out for those. We're going to start with two ounces of Michter's rye. You can use any rye you like though. And now in place of where we would normally use our vermouth, we're going to be using uh, half an ounce of an Amaro. So we're going to be using Montenegro today. And then we're also going to use half an ounce of a coffee liqueur. Um, we're going to use Mr. Black today. This is an excellent product. We finally just got it in. Really, really delicious. But any coffee liqueur that you, that you like will, will work. So half ounce of our Amaro. Half ounce of our coffee liqueur. And then we're gonna do two to three dashes of bitters. Do as much as you like, do it to taste, but two to three is, is about good. Those are Angostura bitters, by the way. Get some ice. For stirred cocktails especially, you wanna always use more ice than you think you need, just to help control dilution a little bit better. Now we're just gonna stir until this is nice and cold. You can kind of feel when the dilution is hit where you want it, the ice will get easier to stir as it, as it melts. Um, that's a good way to, to know that you're just about there. I'm just holding this at the top of the tin just to stop any heat from my hand, kind of warming the cocktail back up. All right, that is about good. And then we're just gonna strain this out into our Nick and Nora glass here. Beautiful color on that. And then we're just gonna garnish with a cherry. You can use any cherries you like. Right in. And that is our Black Manhattan. Let's give this a try. Yeah, really good. So you get the rye spice, you're getting a little bit of bitterness from that coffee liqueur almost like baking spice notes from the Amaro. Really, really delicious. Definitely highly recommend this one. We'll have a recipe in the blog for this as well.